He is known for his expertise as a German organist, academic, and composer. He was recognized for his exceptional performances of the organ works of Max Rager. His name is Heinz Wunderlich. In the world of music, there is one name that resonates with brilliance and passion, Heinz Wunderlich, a legendary German organist, academic, and composer. Born with a natural talent for the organ, Wunderlich's musical journey began in Leipzig under the tutelage of Karl Straube, a close friend of the renowned composer Max Rager. It was here that Wunderlich's deep connection with Rager's organ works was forged, becoming the foundation of his illustrious career. As a church musician and academic in Halle, Wunderlich's talent flourished, captivating audiences with his mesmerizing performances. His profound understanding of Rager's compositions brought them to life, infusing each note with emotion and depth. But Wunderlich's journey took an unexpected turn in 1957, when he made the difficult decision to flee to West Germany in search of freedom and new opportunities. Settling in Hamburg, Wunderlich's reputation as a virtuoso organist and esteemed academic continued to grow. His skills were in high demand, and he embarked on international tours, captivating audiences around the world with his masterful interpretations. Students from far and wide flocked to Hamburg to study under his guidance, drawn to his profound knowledge and unwavering passion for music. Even after retiring from teaching, Wunderlich's creative spirit remained unquenched. He delved into composing, adding his own unique compositions to the world of music. His works, infused with his signature style and influenced by his deep understanding of Rager's organ compositions, resonated with audiences and musicians alike. Wunderlich's contributions to the field of music were profound, not only as a performer and teacher but also as a composer who expanded the boundaries of musical expression. Born in Leipzig, Heinz Wunderlich was a talented composer and organ virtuoso. He honed his skills at the Musikhochschule in Leipzig under the guidance of Karl Straube, a close friend of renowned composer Max Rager. Wunderlich's talent on the organ was quickly recognized, and he premiered many of Rager's organ works. In 1943, Wunderlich became the Kirchenmusik director at St. Moritz Church in Halle and also served as a lecturer of organ at the Evangelische Hochschule für Kirchenmusik Halle and the Staatliche Hochschule für Musik. His reputation as an organ virtuoso grew, and in 1950, he embarked on a remarkable Bach marathon, where he played all of Johann Sebastian Bach's organ works in 21 concerts. In 1958, Wunderlich fled to West Germany and assumed the position of KMD at the Hauptkirche St. Jacobi in Hamburg. Here, he had the privilege of caring for the Arp Schnitzer organ, which had once been admired by Bach himself when he applied for the same position. Wunderlich's tenure at St. Jacobi lasted until 1982, and during this time, he was also a professor of organ playing and improvisation at the Musikhochschule Hamburg. Wunderlich's talent as a concert organist took him on international tours, where he captivated audiences with his performances. His rendition of Bach's Toccata and Fugue in D minor was praised by critics, drawing comparisons to the legendary conductor Stokowski. Students from all over the world flocked to Hamburg to study with Wunderlich, attesting to his reputation as an exceptional teacher. In his later years, Wunderlich turned his attention to composition after retiring from his teaching career. He continued to contribute to the world of music through his own creations. Additionally, he was a member of the Protestant St. Michael's Fraternity of the Bernuccian Movement, demonstrating his commitment to his faith. Heinz Wunderlich's legacy as a composer and organ virtuoso lives on, with his influence extending beyond his lifetime. The last surviving pupil of Karl Straube, he left a profound impact on the world of music before his passing in Grosshansdorf. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.